Hello everyone. Here we are going to learn about time reversal and factor reversal test. First, we will learn the formulas for time reversal test and factor reversal test. Formula for time reversal test is P01 into P10 equal to 1. Formula for P01 is Fisher's ideal index formula that is P01 equal to square root of summation P1 Q0 divided by summation P0 Q0 into summation p1 q1 divided by summation p0 q1 into 100 so this is the formula for fisher's ideal index and this is for p01 into we have p10 right so p10 formula is the same formula here wherever we have 1 we have to change it to 0 and wherever we have 0 we have to change it to 1 next formula for factor reversal test that is p01 into q01 equal to summation p1 q1 divided by summation p0 q0 so this is the formula for factor reversal test here p01 value is square root of summation p1 q0 by summation p0 q0 into summation p1 q1 by summation p0 q1 into 100 next we have q01 that is quantity index formula so formula for fisher's quantity index is q01 equal to square root of summation q1 p0 divided by summation q0 p0 into summation q1 p1 divided by summation q0 p1 into 100 so these are the formulas for time reversal and factor reversal test now we will solve an example so in this example we have to construct fisher's ideal index number for the following data and show how it satisfies the time and factor reversal test okay and here we have a table with the values of commodities 2010 quantity and price values and 2011 quantity and price values so using the given data we have to check whether it satisfies the time and factor reversal test so first we have to form the table with the headings of commodities q0 p0 that is 2010 quantity and price value next 2011 quantity and price value is denoted it as q1 p1 now we want to find the values of p1 q0 p0 q0 and p1 q1 p0 q1 so first the commodity values that is m n o p q and the quantity and price values i had written here that is given in the problem so first we will find out p1 q0 that is we have to multiply the values of p1 with q0 so first 14 into 20 that is 280 next 20 into 13 260 15 into 12 that is 180 4 into 8 32 and 6 into 5 30 now we want to find the total that is summation p1 q0 so if you add all the values you will get 782 next move on to the next one p0 q0 so we have to multiply the values of p0 with q0 so 20 into 12 that is 240 13 into 14 182 12 into 10 that is 120 8 into 6 48 and 5 into 8 40 and if you add all the values you will get 630 next p1 q1 so p1 q1 that is 30 into 14 next 15 into 20 300 again 20 into 15 300 10 into 4 that is 40 6 into 5 that is 30 so if you add all the values you will get the total is 1090 and then last one is p0 q1 so 12 into 30 that is 360 14 into 15 210 10 into 20 that is 200 6 into 10 that is 60 8 into 5 that is 40 so if you add all the values you will get 870 now we have to check whether it satisfies the time reversal and factor reversal test so before that we will first find out the fisher's ideal index value because in the given problem we have ask you to find out the fisher's ideal index 
So, formula for Fisher's ideal index is P01 equal to square root of summation P1 Q0 by summation P0 Q0 into summation P1 Q1 by summation P0 Q1 into 100. Now, just substitute the values. So, P01 equal to square root of summation P1 Q0. So, that is P1 Q0 782 divided by P0 Q0 that is 630 into next P1 Q1 that is 1090 by P0 Q1 that is 870 into 100. So, if you simplify and you will get square root of 1.55 into 100. So, if you take square root, you will get 1.247 into 100 and if you multiply, you will get 124.70. So, this is the value of Fisher's ideal index. Now, we have to check whether it satisfies time reversal test. So, formula for time reversal test is P01 into P10 equal to 1. So, P01 value is square root of summation P1 Q0 by summation P0 Q0 into summation P1 Q1 by summation P0 Q1 and P10 value is square root of summation P0 Q1 by summation P1 Q1 into summation P0 Q0 by summation P1 Q0. So, first consider the left hand side value that is P01 into P10. So, that is equal to square root of we have to write the values that is given in the formula. So, that is equal to square root of so, just substitute the values from the table. Summation P1 Q0 value is 782 divided by summation P0 Q0 value is 630 into next summation P1 Q1 value is 1090 divided by summation P0 Q1 value is 870 into next summation P0 Q1 value is 870 by summation p1 q1 value is 1090 into summation p0 q0 value is 630 divided by summation p1 q0 value is 782 so here the 782 and 782 will get cancel 1090 will get cancel 870 will get cancel and 630 also will get cancel so all the values get cancel so square root of 1 that is nothing but 1 so therefore P01 into P10 equal to 1. So, hence it satisfies time reversal test. Next, we have to check whether it satisfies factor reversal test. Next, formula for factor reversal test is P01 into Q01 equal to summation P1 Q1 by summation P0 Q1. So, P01 value is square root of summation P1 Q0 divided by summation P0 Q0 into summation p1 q1 by summation p0 q1 and q01 value is some square root of summation q1 p0 by summation q0 p0 into summation q1 p1 by summation q0 p1 so now just substitute the value and check whether it satisfies so that is square root of summation p1 q0 value is 782 divided by p0 q0 is 630 into P1 Q1 value is 1090 by summation P0 Q1 value is 870 into summation Q1 P0 value is 870 divided by summation Q0 P0 value is 630 into summation Q1 P1 value is 1090 divided by 782 last value. So, if you simplify you will get 870 will get cancel and uh, 782 will get cancel. So, the remaining value is square root of 1090 and we have one more 1090. So, 1090 the whole square divided by and we have 630 the whole square. So, here the square and root value will get cancel. So, we have simply 1090 by 630. So, this 1090 value that is nothing but summation p1 q1 divided by 630 value is summation p0 q0 so therefore p01 into q01 equal to summation p1 q1 
divided by summation p not q not so therefore it satisfies the factor reversal test so this is how we have to check whether it satisfies time reversal and factor reversal test thanks for watching this video if you find this video useful please subscribe to my channel and click on like button and for further notification please hit the bell icon thank you